Why not? Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to the Operation Freedom platform in our ongoing Operation Freedom Health and Wellness series. This is a series that um, we get tremendous positive feedback from you, our viewers, and our listeners. Why? Because we provide you information you're not going to get through the bought-off lamestream fake media. You're surely not going to get it through big pharma, big medicine, big insurance, big government. Why? Because the essence of the message that Dr. Glidden and I provide is individual empowerment, that you can take control of your wellness and of your health. Big pharma, big medicine, big insurance, big government want you to believe that your health and wellness is completely dependent on them and what they're pushing down your throat or into your arm. <laughs> And really nothing could be further from the truth. Peter and I are, are, are um, contacted many times during the week about people who have taken the information that we have provided, researched it further, and research is, other, research is always available on our websites, operationfreedomhealth.com, as well as drglidden.com. And they've gone the extra mile and done the extra research and then implemented some of our recommendations, some of the information that we put forward, taken some of the products that we have available on operationfreedomhealth.com. Full disclosure, purchase of products on that platform does support this platform so we can continue our work. And they get back in touch with us and saying, you know, I, I thought it might make a difference, but I am shocked at the magnitude of the positive difference that it has made in my life. And that's why today I want, we want to talk about an issue that um, big pharma, uh, big medicine, big insurance, you're probably your own doc, doesn't want you to really look at or investigate. And it's about if you're depressed, and if you're lacking energy, well, nutrition and nutritional support can be your solution. It's my honor to welcome back our friend, Dr. Peter Glidden. Now, a little background on Pete. He's one of the top naturopathic physicians, not just in our country, but the world. Number two, he's a fantastic researcher. Number three, he's an outstanding communicator. And number four, he's a fantastic author. His two books, Everybody is Sick and I Know Why, and Attempt to Cure with Holistic Medicine, are the backbone of our medical library in my home. I encourage they, they should be in yours as well because the knowledge provided provides a great foundation and launching pad for your health and wellness it's my honor to welcome back Dr. Peter Glidden. Peter, welcome back to the Operation Freedom and Operation Freedom Health Platforms. Thanks for the kind words, David. It's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for the opportunity. No kidding. Pete, let's talk about many people we're, we're contacted by that, that are new to our channel and have said, look, you know, I, I'm really, I've been worn down. I and mean, these last three <laughs> years have worn me down uh, uh, psychologically. They've worn me down physically. Uh, you know, and and and, and I, these people say I don't want to take the products pushed by big pharmaceutical companies. I, I don't want to do that. I I, I I I want to harness my own body's ability to get better. So let's talk about nutrition, nutritional support, as a huge component in people getting to, if you will, the their health promised land. Well, maybe this is the the silver lining in the whole last three year society insanity cloud yeah. uh, that people are really starting to question the conventional medical approach. And, you know, like I've always said, conventional medicine is fantastic for surgery when it's necessary, trauma care, childbirth, military field medicine. It's fantastic. That's where all the advances, by the way, in conventional medicine in the last hundred years have been made. It's in surgery and surgical techniques and new diagnostic stuff. It's fantastic what they can do now. But for everything else, <laughs> it's a train wreck. 
And it's not because, you know, of any ill will. I don't think an individual docs. I think it's ill will on the on the behalf of the pharmaceutical industry. Mm -hmm. I think they're doing things on purpose to hurt people. I really do. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, people are starting to wake up. And, you know, what this all boils down to, I mean, in, in plain common sense language is you do, you're not depressed because you have a Prozac deficiency. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. Yeah, right. And you can't drug yourself into health. You can't do it. Right. Drugs are great. I mean, if you know you're getting your teeth worked on or general anesthesia, fantastic. Give me more. Thank you very much. But the basic understanding here, the gestalt of all holistic medicine and naturopathic medicine specifically, because that's my wheelhouse, is that the human body has intelligence. That the human body knows how to fix itself, wants to fix itself, it's trying to fix itself. But, and it's the holistic physician's duty to develop and deliver therapeutics that support the body's ability to do just that. And that's what we do. And, it, and in, in many instances, it's one of the easiest jobs in the world because we don't have to really micromanage anything. You just have to, you know, water the flower and give it fertilizer and sunlight. I mean, that, that's not too difficult. It's the same with the body. You got to give it the right stuff mm -hmm. and the right push in the right direction at the right time. And when you do that effectively, you get nice results, as you were alluding to before. You know, the information that you and I talk about at Operation Freedom Health <clears throat> and, and this show and on the Operation Freedom Health website and on my website, drglidden.com, all of that information is generic. Mm -hmm. It's, well, you've got high blood pressure here, try this. Oh, you've got lack of energy here, try this. Oh, you've got a uh, blood sugar issue or depression or asthma here, try this. And the, the information which makes this different from any other platform, even Mercola, especially Mercola, which is the most visited alternative medicine website in the world. The difference is that the information on, on our sites is clinically verified. Mm -hmm. This is what myself and my colleagues have actually seen work <laughs> most of the time in real patients with real disease over decades of, decades of clinical experience. And that's a game changer and that's very important. And this speaks to a couple of things. Number one, <clears throat> this isn't rocket science. Number two, all you have to do is give the body the right stuff, mm -hmm. give it the right push. And nine times out of 10, there's always the exception that creates the rule. Nine times out of 10, the body will respond. And that's basically all that you need. It just needs the right push. Mm -hmm. So that's why the information that we disseminate is very, not only important, but necessary. And the, the strength of it is that it's, you know, it's all based on, on clinical stuff, clinical experience and clinical verification. Now, it's interesting. Even before COVID, the number one reason that people would visit a medical doctor in the United States, even in the best of times, mm -hmm. Doc, I just don't have enough energy. Mm -hmm. It's the number one reason. Yeah, I'm worn out. I'm worn uh, out. I'm worn out. Physically, mentally, I'm just worn out. Stretch thin, man. Yeah. Like not enough butter on too much bread <laughs> right spread too thin and then when in a kind of a generalized low energy predicament you add coronavirus stress and all of this political nonsense mm -hmm. i mean for those people who actually have their you know their ear to the tracks and who actually care about this stuff and pay attention to this stuff it's been an enormously stressful three years mm -hmm. so that's just going to make everything worse unless you know what to do mm -hmm. and the irony here or the tragedy here is that what to do isn't that difficult no it's, it is not it's what's to do it's called the foundation pack what does that mean well it's a combination of nutritional supplements that's been formulated over decades to deliver to the body 90 essential nutrients and an essential nutrient is a nutrient that the body needs, but it can't make. Your body needs certain vitamins, can't make them. Your body needs certain minerals, can't make them. Your body needs certain proteins, 
amino acids, can't make them. Body needs water, can't make it. Body needs food, can't make it, right? It's like that. Mm -hmm. But this is, this information has been completely left out of all things medical for the last 200 years. Mm -hmm. True. And when most people start to even think about medical nutrition, it's not primary, it's not secondary, it's not even tertiary, for goodness sakes. Most people think, well, yeah, it's probably better if I eat better, whatever, take a vitamin, whatever. But that's not the case. The case is this is primary care stuff. <clears throat> this is foundational naturopathic treatment. Mm -hmm. You have to start by giving the body the stuff it needs to fix itself. Mm -hmm. You can't expect the car to work if it's got one quart of oil, but it needs six. You can't expect the car to work if it has 10 pounds of air in the tire, but it needs 30. It's not going to work. Which is the same with the human body. So, And this is why every week, more or less, we get testimonials, just spontaneous testimonials from people who've done the generic stuff. No mm -hmm. private appointment necessary. Just listen to what we have to say. Follow the advice. Son of a gun, I'm sleeping through the night like I never did before. Son of a gun, my energy's back. Mm -hmm. Son of a gun, my breathing's better. Son of a gun, my blood pressure's better. Son of a gun, everything's better. Why? Because it's not rocket science. You give the plant water and fertilizer and sunlight, it's going to be better than a plant that you didn't do that to. Mm -hmm. And this really is our message from start to finish, and it's so sim simple. I mean, it's like Oakham's razor, right? The simplest solution That's is right. probably the solution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is it. And if, if you're in the listening audience and you haven't slammed these doors and kicked these tires yet, you need to. Uh, so buy a foundation pack, a healthy foundation pack, just one, and take it for one month, and then tell me how you feel. And if you don't feel a difference, um, I'll eat my hat, for goodness sake. Pete, educate the, our listeners on the components of the foundation pack. I mean, they're listed, obviously, on OperationFreedomHealth.com and DrGlidden.com, but educate our <laughs> listeners on the components. Because here's, here's what, Pete, here's what people say. Well, okay, okay, so I'm going to nutrify better. What I'm going to do is I'm going to eat a lot of organic <laughs> vegetables and fruits, and <laughs> I'm going to eat fish and I'm going to uh, cut out red meat, and I... Okay, Pete. So This, is, this th is the thing that really interests me, David, and I'm really glad that you brought it up. Um, so I will answer your question, but before I do that, I just want to pause and, and gain a little perspective here, right? Mm -hmm. Because of the way that medicine has evolved here in the country, mm -hmm. and because of the way that um, academics has evolved here in this country. Most people with a college education are of the opinion for some reason, which I think is a part of this historical evolution, the socialization of all things medical for the last 200 years. Most people will think to themselves, well, I know that the pharmaceuticals aren't really the cure here, then they're just managing the problem. I know that there must be something else to do. I'm going to do my own research and figure it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what people would not do if they had a tooth problem is do their own research and figure it out and go to Amazon or eBay and buy some dental equipment and read a couple of blogs by dentists and then try to fix their own tooth. They wouldn't do that. No. But when it comes to their own health, this is where people lean and uh, and I, I'll tell you a really interesting kind of anecdotal experience I've lectured all over the country literally mm -hmm. and outside of the country extensively and hands down when I lecture to a conservative crowd mm -hmm. the response is that's interesting sign me up I'm going to try it mm -hmm. when I lecture to a uh, a democratic crowd to a liberal crowd, mm -hmm. especially in universities. Mm -hmm. The response is, that's interesting. I'm going to do my own research and get back to you. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So 
what people will never do is when they go to a conventional medical doctor. I mean, some people do, but th those are the exceptions and not the rule. They never question what the medical doctor says. They never say, oh, I'm going to do my own research and see if I think a MRI is better than the CT scan that you just wanted to order. I'll get back in a couple of days. People don't do that. No. They just do what the doctor says. But when it people step foot in these waters, the inclination is, oh, let me figure it out myself. Well, folks, <laughs> it's already been figured out. That's right. We've already done the heavy lifting. This is science-based, clinically verified therapeutics developed and delivered by licensed and regulated physicians practicing primary care, for goodness sakes. This is our wheelhouse. You should pay attention to this because it comes from an experiential, academic, clinical point of view. Now, the 90 essential nutrients, the foundation pack, um, is contained inside of four individual products. The first product is called Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It's a multivitamin, multi-amino acid, antioxidant, probiotic, prebiotic, and probiotic formula, which was decades in the making. Mm -hmm. It's the best multi multi multi-nutrient supplement currently available in the marketplace. Number two is an extremely bioavailable calcium, mm -hmm. which also has magnesium and some other things to help the body absorb it. The most absorbable calcium supplement I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot mm -hmm. of companies, calcium supplements. Number three is a fish oil mm -hmm. supplement called Prohoba Omega, mm -hmm. which contains a, a purified fish oil put in a gel cap under a nitrogen blanket so the oil doesn't start to oxidize. It's 100% omega-3 essential fats, which is what adults need. Adults don't need omega-6. Too much omega-6 will cause inflammation. And the jewel in the crown of the foundation pack is a 32-ounce bottle of plant-derived organic minerals. And plant-derived minerals are nature's way to get minerals into an animal's body, mm -hmm. an animal, animal, or a human animal. It's the best way to get minerals into the human body is to let a plant suck the mineral out of the ground, and then you eat the plant. This combination of these four supplements will give whoever is wise enough to take them, arguably for the first time in their lives, all of the nutrients that their body needs to work the way that nature intended it to. And that's why we get so many positive experiences because most people are, this is, you know, this is how many nutrients people need. If they imagine this is a tank, it's got to be topped off. This is what most people have and they've gotten used to it. Mm -hmm. It's mediocrity and they've gotten used to it. They think that, you know, they, their energy and their, everything should be down here because it, that's the way it is with everybody else. So they take this stuff and boom, they get a big bounce. And switches start turning on that have been off for decades, mm -hmm. for their whole life, quite frankly, mm -hmm. even in utero. And I would argue that all birth defects and many cases of autism are due to undernutrified mothers <laughs> with a baby developing in a mother's body that's undernutrified. We go right back to the plant metaphor. It's a good one. So not only is this science-based and clinically verified, but it's pragmatically effective. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it sells itself. <laughs> All you have to do is give it a try, for goodness sakes, because honest to God, you don't know what you're missing. So it not only boosts energy, but it has a huge effect on mentation, right? And, and uh, many people I know that have taken this said, you know, I was I was just not only lacking energy, but I was really, really depressed. And I started on this, and the world opened back up for me. It was is that an outlier? Because I've had a lot of people contacting me saying that, Pete. More often than not, and especially lately, and this speaks to the holistic nature of the thing. Yeah. Because you know, people we've been socialized with the reductionistic method for decades now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And reductionistic medicine, it's one medicine for one piece. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. This is global. Mm -hmm. So this isn't, 
you know, joint medicine. This isn't pancreas medicine. This isn't lung medicine. Mm -hmm. This isn't kidney medicine. This is whole person medicine. And the intention of which is to make all cylinders fire. And because everything's connected holistically in the body, and that's why this type of medicine is called holistic, a lot of things start to change. And one of the first things that will start to change is your kind of melancholy, overcast mm -hmm. depression that you've kind of gotten used to <laughs> just lifts. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, the, the fog being burned off by the sun. All of a sudden it's gone. Mm -hmm. You forgot that there was even a sun there. And holy smokes, it's a brand new world. And, and it's not magic. Mm -mm. It's just nutrition. And you've needed it your whole life. But nobody's told you about it. And more is the pity. And Pete, address the issue where people say, oh, I'm just going to get this from eating uh, I, I planted a garden. Good for good for, good for folks. Not a, not a bad thing to do. But I have this organic garden and with organic fruits, and I'm eating fit. Educate our listeners because what you've outlined before is that, and even now, you know, we see these th reports that these government globalist syndicate bureaucrats are limiting fertilizers, right? That are going to be used. Um, that nutritionally fortifies plants so they can get not only more yield, but have more nutrition in the plants. And now these globalists, and this is not just a mistake. This is not, this is not uh, incompetence. This is willful. Uh, they're saying, oh, we're going to limit the amount of fertilizer being here. We're going to li limit the amount of nutrients that the plants... Have. So when people say, well, I'm going to get it because I eat all organic and I, I just... Pete, educate our listeners on that fallacy, because this is really important. Because some people make the right decision, they're going to do something nutritionally, and then they say, oh, well, I'm solely going to rely on what my garden can produce from a, uh, from a, uh, from a production standpoint and from a nutrition standpoint. And, and that's just, a, it's a fallacy, Pete. You can get some good things from organically grown stuff. You can get some vitamins and you mm. can get uh, some phytonutrients. You can get some enzymes, which all of which are good. But the lion's share of your body's nutrient needs, two-thirds, 66% of your body's nutrient needs are minerals. Mm -hmm. Things like calcium and sulfur and zinc, and plants can't make minerals. No. Animals can't make minerals. The only way that minerals get into the body is if they're in the soil that the food is growing in, and they ain't in the soil which was reported to Congress in 1935, I believe, by the United States Department of Agriculture. They had charts and everything showing that over the decades, the amount of minerals in the soil was uh, slowly and then rapidly reducing. And it was a big thing. Oh, you know, it's going to be a big health thing. It's going to be a big health scare. We need to put minerals back in the food. The same way they figured out, oh, we have to put iodine and salt to prevent people from getting goiter, which was successful. But Congress did nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Shocking. Shocking. <laughs> Not. So over time, the food that people have been eating is less and less nutritious, less and less mineralized, and that makes for more sickness, which is good for the pharmaceutical industry because the pharmaceutical industry doesn't cure illness, they manage it. Mm -hmm. So the food that people eat doesn't have the stuff that their body needs so they get sicker as they get older and then they medicate their symptoms for their entire life good for the big pharma business model not so good for you and me so even if you owned a hundred acres of the most organic land on planet earth you would still be minerally deficient because the minerals are simply not there now there's an interesting little sidebar which is not really practical for most people, but it's practical for people that have like, you know, their their living is they, they farm like you know, Amish people mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. a lot of small farms around the United States. The company that makes the minerals for human consumption mm -hmm. also makes minerals to put on the soil, mm -hmm. to remineralize the soil. And the Amish community grabbed hold of this about 20 years ago. And I've lectured to a lot of Amish people in Indiana. Um, and the yields that they're getting, 
the Brix content, which is the sugar content, which is a good thing in their fruits and in their vegetables, is off the chart. Yeah, the food is much more nutritious, much more delicious, much heartier, doesn't hardly need any pesticides at all. Hmm. But that, that's an interesting thing to talk about because the insects that eat plants, mm -hmm. they don't have pancreases. And so sugar is a poison to, oh, most, that's interesting. to most insects. So when a plant grows in mineralized soil, the sugar content, the natural good sugar content goes up, goes up and the bug doesn't want to eat it. So it's its own insecticide. Yeah. And they love this stuff in Japan, too, because in Japan they've got limited acreage. And so they can double or triple the yield in one acre by putting the minerals on the soil. So, I mean, you could do that. You could buy a 25-gallon drum of this stuff from the company and, you know, put it on your, on your, your, in your victory garden and whatever, but that's a lot of work, and it's much easier to buy the 32-ounce bottle of it and swallow it every day. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. so, so it's a myth that you can get all the nutrients your body needs from eating food. You can't do it. It's a myth. You can't do it. People need to snap out of it. Um, bring themselves up to speed here and honest to God, you know, just slam these doors and kick these tires, please give this stuff a try because I'm telling you, you don't know what you're missing and the potential here for a really nice outcome is pretty large. So give it a try. Pete, I'd like to thank you for everything you have done, are doing and will do folks. Uh, we have all the information, including a free video that Peter did on the 12 bad foods, which is another found part of the foundation pack, or the 12 bad foods to avoid. And the products that we've spoken about, the foundation pack, are available on OperationFreedomHealth.com. Further information, as Peter mentioned, is also present on Dr. Glidden, G-L-I-D-D-E-N.com. I'd like to thank you for joining us. Again, thank you, Pete, for joining us. Thank you for everything you have done, are doing, and will do. And as we always sign off, my dad's favorite statement, dream big and dare to fail. Thanks for your time today.